How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pixel Wars. Uh, you might have noticed that Ron was missing last time. That's because we put him in timeout because of how many times he chose to look at himself in this TV right here. Uh, we have a TV set up as a monitor so that, honestly I don't really know why it's there because we're not supposed to look at it, but it's there regardless. But Ron looked at it way too often. So this time the stakes are a little bit higher. Uh, we're actually going to give him an electric shock every time he looks at himself on the TV. I don't think this is going to be a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Oh god. So we have our Wait, friend so Justin here ready to, you know, set him up in the electric chair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can get it on. <laughs> He's also going to be in control of zapping Ron when he notices him looking at himself in the TV. Which so, I've done probably 12 times already. Which you're doing right now. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't have my hopes Anyways, either. we have some gaming news for you, but uh, to make it a little more interesting, oh god. there's some... That's a little tight. Uh, it does some weigh kinky, a yeah. kinky stuff. It's not. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. <laughs> I know, but I don't want it to be like. There we go. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> you might have to bleep out the Lord's name there. Jesus? Yeah. Is your mom gonna be mad? <laughs> might be. Oh God! Dial that down a notch, please. Did you put? <laughs> oh man! I hate man. this so much. What a Sunday! I hate this so much. <laughs> man. All right. All right. So help me. Oh God. <laughs> Yo! Did you already look? I did. <laughs> Who's doing it? I don't oh, like this. This is, this is gonna, you guys are not gonna get any information from this video. <laughs> this is literally gonna be a half hour of me just looking at the monitor, Dude, getting honestly, shocked, us laughing. For it's 10 honestly minutes. so much more entertaining than the news. <laughs> okay, but we should get into the news. Yeah, we probably should. All right, guys. So. <laughs> So, obviously Mortal Kombat is known for bringing in really cool guest characters. They've done stuff like Jason Voorhees. I think they had, like, a bunch of other... Freddy Krueger, Freddy for Krueger, a sure. bunch of horror movie icons. And uh, they're actually going to do something really cool. And now there was a post released. Uh, they're actually going to be bringing Spawn into the franchise. Um, this is really cool. Spawn was actually a playable character back uh, in Soul Calibur 2. Like, specifically the Xbox version. And people loved that. Um, people are definitely really excited about this. And uh, it's going to be a DLC installment. Um... So if you have the season pass, you're gonna get them. If you have the season pass, yeah, you're you're good to go. Um, yeah. And you can so worthy of note is actually the uh, voice actor from the HBO cartoon uh, for Spawn. I believe his name's Keith David. He's gonna be reprising the role. Um, that has been reported already. Pretty excited for that. That's big for fans. So next up, Microsoft's gonna be doing something with the uh, Xbox Series X. X. Uh, Series X is gonna be doing this thing where they have a smart delivery system where if you buy a game on the Xbox One, you'll be able to get it on your Xbox One X as soon as... <laughs> did he look or was it for I fun? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Why? All right. So they're going to be doing... This was like 50% your idea. I know. <laughs> All the bad ones usually are. Right. Was, this is just <laughs> so, the best idea you've ever had, bro. So you'll be able to get the game for free on the new Xbox, the Series X, the Xbox 720, whatever they call it. You'll be able to get that for free if you buy it on the Xbox One um, through this new smart delivery service. That's great. Great news for all you Xboxers out there. Xboxers. Dude! <laughs> Oh, man, wow. you look like you're on house arrest. <laughs> I mean, aren't I, though? <laughs> if you saw the end of the, Pika the Pokemon video, ow. <laughs> on the other hand, Sony seems to be taking more of a wait-and-see approach. They've actually pulled out of E3, and what was the other one they <laughs> uh, Pax Pax East, East, I believe it was. So, yeah, they're, um, they're basically not giving us any information. So, I, I don't know, maybe they're trying to sort of gauge the competition, see what Xbox is going to do. Um, obviously, Nintendo's not usually a direct competitor because it's very different like audiences but um yeah i'm curious to see when sony will actually announce something because obviously they're kind of pulling the brakes right now um so next up sony seems to be, uh blah i can't believe i did that all right so next up sony your hat's really dirty it's not dirty though <laughs> it's not all right <laughs> i just looked at the damn <laughs> I'm pre-reacting, knowing it's coming. <laughs> Sony's sending out invites to beta test 7.5, the new uh, firmware for the PlayStation 4. Um, apparently, there's nothing really new coming. It's just stability uh, 
updates and stuff like that. So I'm thinking this is probably an attempt to shut down hackers and stuff a little bit, you know, and keep the console security as tight as they can. Um, so Xbox is kind of going back to their roots a little bit. Um, obviously, like the past few releases, they've seemed to focus more on being like a family media station more than just uh, specifically a gaming console. And it seems like as of late, their their marketing has been going to back towards like really focusing on pushing towards gamers and people who enjoy gaming in general. Um, some of the information that we got recently is there will be 12 teraflops of GPU. There will be variable rate shading, um, SSD storage finally, which is just a huge thing. It's so much faster. I'm sure games are going to boot much better, which we know from having gaming uh, PCs. Oh, God, yeah. um, and 120 frame per second support and also backwards compatibility. Uh, you That's wanna, huge. And then... Don't know. You want to emphasize smart delivery because I'm actually not familiar with it. Okay, so again with the smart delivery thing, which we'd mentioned before, the the only reason that that's kind of being re mentioned again is that's a feature under the umbrella. Oh my of... god, <laughs> dude! <laughs> sorry, I hate you so much right now. I'm sorry, you fell for it though. <laughs> I did. All right, so the smart delivery thing again. We talked about that already, but when you buy the game on the Xbox One. It's going to come over to your Xbox Series X, your new Xbox. Um, so that's just one more of the, the features that they're pretty much playing up for the gamers and stuff. As I mean, You're still going to get your, your, your Netflix. They're focusing on the gamers. All right, so the Resident Evil 3 remake is actually set to remove, and... I lost my train of thought. I look like a moron. Forced to make a decision with the time limit on it. Okay, there we go. So basically... I need to not. <laughs> Don't point at it. So Resident Evil 3 Remake is set to remove an iconic feature. It's going to be the live selection, reportedly at least. Um, and what that is, is that you would have a time limit on choices that affect really dangerous situations in the game. And I assume that when the time runs out, I can't say I assume that makes me sound like a d One more time and I'm going to get through yourself up to it. You have a point. <laughs> Alright, so Resident Evil... <laughs> We're never getting through this video. You have a time limit on any potentially dangerous situation. Microsoft is going to be allowing PC streaming via xCloud on multiple different devices. And that's all that's written. So, so there with you that, go. What, what, I, what I took that to mean and, and from the cloud. Oh, oh my, my god, god no. yeah. No. It's YouTube. So you guys got to, uh, you know. So Microsoft just announced that they're going to be doing uh, game streaming via xCloud, uh, and it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to a program like Shadow, uh, and basically the way it works is you stream a game, uh, I think they have, what, 50 games available right now? Yeah, something like um, that. Over the internet, you can do it on your phone, on your tablet, pretty much any device, uh, any smart device, um, and it's just pulling the information through the cloud, so you, obviously, you know, your phone doesn't have a crazy GPU, your tablet doesn't. Um, but apparently, you know, you'll be able to play games reasonably well uh hopefully better than something like stadia because obviously everybody knows a bunch of issues with that on launch uh but yeah i guess this is the response to google stadia and i'm definitely curious to see how it turns out um next up we've got call of duty warzone set to release march 3rd supposedly um that is of course as you know the next uh in installment to the call of duty franchise <laughs> all right so <laughs> you guys may or may not know this no they don't i'm just gonna stop here i hate myself Let's try that again. Oh my god, that was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I felt Don't that in leave my heart. that in. <laughs> I felt that in my heart, Ron. Okay. So oh my god, look, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm not saying I don't want say to be the, with okay. say the same thing, but skip that whole. Okay. Thing. All right. So you guys may not know this about me, uh, but I'm a fan of the Final Fantasy franchise. The game is reported to be at least 100 gigabytes or bigger, and this is just the first installment of that game. Ron loves Wish.com. Uh, you're like, you can't. I can't. There's gluten I in know, it. No, that's true. I bet you. Or did you just right. like it because you weren't in it? I did not dislike <laughs> it. Although. We have one more piece of news uh, to report today. Um, and... I guess this is kind of a contradiction to your nose, because I thought Sony didn't announce anything. Sony hasn't announced anything. Sony officially has not said anything. This is rumors coming Okay, from this is a rumor? Okay. External sources, It yes. is rumored that the PlayStation 5 is going to have a very expensive cooling system, whether that be some sort of liquid cooling option or something, I'm not sure. Well, I wouldn't say very expensive, just unusually expensive. As in unusually they expensive. Would, they're putting more money into it than 
would normally expect them to. Which does make sense because as these consoles get more powerful and they start to get closer and closer to catching up to computers, obviously the cooling needs to match the, the output uh, and all the thermal stuff that is going on under the hood. And of course we saw the disaster that happened with the Xbox 360 and the PS3 actually where Yellow Light of Death, Red Ring of Death, were both thermal related issues at least to some extent or another yeah so cooling is important uh apparently according to the rumors it's only going to be a few dollars per unit so it's not super crazy but it is interesting that uh people are talking about the cooling system um and it makes us really wonder what is going to be in that system and how powerful it's going to be yeah i really want to know what's under the hood there that should be interesting so yeah so thank you guys for watching this quick shocking news video uh <laughs> dude I didn't even look at the. He didn't oh, even deserve did it that time. time. Oh, but that's this okay. time I did. Nope, that time he did. <laughs> I really wish we had this in the first video because he looked literally like 10, 10 times in like two seconds. But hey, you know what? That just means he's getting better and it's working. It's doing its go. job. You're looking less. Um, whatever. Thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, we're going to try to do this every week. We'll try to have just a couple new articles about the whole gaming and even like movies and stuff. Um, just to kind of keep everybody in the loop. Uh, Maybe Ron will still want to be shocked for all of them. We'll see. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, he wait. said he said yes. Is right? that a Pixel Wars hoodie? Oh yeah, dude. Where'd you get that? Ron's really bad at product placement, but we do have <laughs> hoodies available and T-shirts and a whole bunch of cool stuff. If you guys want to check the link below. We're not putting the cart before before the horse. We promise. Ow. <laughs> dude. <laughs> you also get shocked every time he makes a stupid analogy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we have a bunch of merchandise available. Uh, you can click the link below, check it out. We'd really appreciate it if you could support this channel. Um, a lot of money was spent making this set in our basement. Oh, yeah. It looks sick. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, you said the set in our basement. I, I and, didn't um, see it. You know, the more t-shirts and hoodies that you guys buy, the more shock collars we can buy for Ron. So. Well, we do need at least one more to put up him for the Nope, next just one. you. Nope, you're getting All right, one. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> This... <laughs> <laughs>